Hi everyone, so it's my fifth day in Nigeria now. I've been working for the past three days and I'm really enjoying my time here at the moment. Getting to work is a bit of trouble because it takes us about 45 minutes to an hour to get there and the chaos on the road is amazing. I'm surprised that I haven't seen a crash yet, but apparently there's no, there's really no worries about it. People come inches between each other and really it just works. There's no policing, speeding is not a problem, the people just drive as they want. I have a police escort that has two men with machine guns in the back and they just really let us get away with murder. If we need to change lanes, they change for us. The office is wicked. We have an indoor basketball court. It's laid out really nicely. It's big, modern, everything that you'd expect from a UK office. On Tuesday, I went for a trip to a factory called Flowergate, which produces over a million stock cubes a day. The scale in which it was is massive. They must have had acres and acres of land and this factory is huge. As for work, I've been creating a storyboard and a script for the past three days and that's finalised now so it means that we can finally start all of our proper filming and getting the production properly together now. On Friday we have an international dress day so I'll be wearing traditional Nigerian clothes which I'll show you now. At the moment we're in the season called Hamatan, which was when a fine dust picks up from the Sahara Desert and mixes with the pollution here and it causes almost a thick smog over the whole city which it does look quite grim but generally it's not that bad and when the rains come it'll clear. Whilst I've been here in Nigeria I've actually been trying to quit smoking and today was the first day I actually did the whole day without a cigarette but I've been relying on this, which is an electronic cigarette, but I'm quite proud of myself. I miss you all loads and I hope everybody's great. Can't wait to see you when I'm home. Laters.